Az utóbbi batekén. Tehát ez egy blóbergen. Ennél jól van egy ege, hogy is tár. University is often a, a alma mater that that stays with you throughout your life, and it's wonderful to see students and alumni be actively involved in in coming back. The whole week we've been saying it's homecoming week with great excitement. It's actually now the homecoming weekend. The Marty alumna taste comes Novik. It's finally here. It's the seventh one. For us, it's really great to have the alumni come back. Um, since I started uh, working at the university, when I meet with alumni, they express a real love for the place. This homecoming weekend gives everyone an opportunity to reconnect, to reminisce, and of course, to relive their student experience. The fact that over 3,000 alumni have come to homecoming this year is such a monumental achievement for us. What we're trying to do is link the past with the present and the future. Uh, that's the role of our alumni engagement, and we're, we, we're really excited about it. And so this is a weekend of reunions and getting together, and it's really gaining, gaining traction, and it's a wonderful weekend of community and reconnecting with friends, but also with your university, with your alma mater. So the Business Breakfast is an annual feature on the Marty Alumni Homecoming Weekend. This year, we, um, we had our head of the Bureau of Economic Research, Professor Johan Kirsten, as the, the chair, really engaging in the topic of business for the future. And I think this is about our, just our ownership of our agency to make a difference. And to come back to a campus that you remember in a particular way as a student and to come back as an adult seeing what the development is on the campus gives you a real sense about the contribution that the university is making to current South Africa against the background of this incredible history that this institution has. So I just love the fact that so many Martys come back and reconnect. At this specific event that I'm attending today, it's the 1983 MBCHB, 1993, and 2003. So the 40, 30, and 20 year. I believe there are about 140 or so of us. So it's a, it's a very good show, right? So I'm happy about that. It takes a lot of great people, committed, hardworking, fellow colleagues and friends to put this event together. Good afternoon, Moweni. This is a wonderful day to be here with you. It's very beautiful. I am at my first year reunion. Um, it is such an incredible day just to see everyone that I haven't seen in years, just to celebrate the time that we had at university. It's been just incredible just to relive the experience. During homecoming, the one I really enjoy is, of course, the Marty Soiree. We have the only department of viticulture in Africa, which is, of course, the department that looks at our wine offering. And our Marty winemakers then have an opportunity to present their offering to our alumni. To our alumni who are in the world, play in more than 80 countries. En natuurlijk niet elke dag terugkomt campus te niet. Zo hier die geleentheid het het recht op verklomp maatjes die geleentheid te gaan terugkomt campus toe. En ons het maatjes gehad van New York, van Londen, van Europa. Zo dat is dat wij wijs voor ons dat al rarige behoefte is voor maatjes om te schakelen met de alma mater. En ons hoopt dat het kan uitbouwen in de toekomst. The activities during homecoming, like the business breakfast, like the soiree and the decade lunches, etc., we are utilizing those opportunities to galvanize and re-engage 
with alumni who perhaps may have not necessarily been in touch with the university since they graduated. Homecoming and the events that we offer provide a broad opportunity for a broad range of our alumni to find ways of reconnecting to the university. I think just from a relationship, culture point of view, network, working point of view, um, in many ways I found my home here. We are going to be meeting uh, the previous SRC chairs. I was just chatting with the guys now that uh, the oldest person who's going to be attending the meeting was an SRC chair, I think, 50 years ago. We're going to be meeting and just discussing and just catching up with one another. And I think also, given that we all traveled a similar road, it's going to be quite nice to see what have we done with ourselves? What are we up to now? Are we still having the same views that we had when we were the SRC students or something of that sort? So it's going to be quite nice for me, I must say. Residences here are very important to Marty's because we have a sense of community in our residences. Uh, Dirk de Prea, and I'm here in House Wichter, and it's the first time in 15 years that I set foot in this, in this building. Everything has been modernised and so a lot has changed and it's for the better. It's really interesting to be a third party watching alumni interact with their residents and with leaders that are in their residents now. So. We have a lot of Prims coming back. We have a lot of Haka coming back. Um, and yeah, it's, it's interesting to, to see what memories they had in that specific space. And for that interaction, just to witness that interaction, I think is so special. The Martin Land Concert is our first concert that we aanbied as the van of our komt na week. This is for us a great great for us to be able to be able to This is the first time that the Martin Thuis Komst Na Week Concert is. So our part of this. And we play together with Coach Kompuis and Kirsty Bouws and the winners of the a cappella group of this year. This is interesting to hear the spiel for the Vanaans. And I have always had a lot of Stellenbosch perform gewoonlik in a kroeg en eindelijk is ek bly want dit gaan nou nie vanaand 'n klomp dronk studente wees nie. Dit gaan <laughs> groot mense hopelik wees. Ek is ook nou al nie meer so jong nie so is amper soos om 'n masker af te haal. Ek, ek word nou ek en ek ek, ek, ek onthou nou wie ek raar is en dit is vir my nogal 'n emosionele ervaring. <laughs> It's really special. I think what it does is that it reminds people as you're ready to study, is is people so excited to focus on the next phase. Where are you going to work? What are you going to do? Where are you going to live? That I think for a short time, you finally get to forget what it was. And om dan te kan thuis kom en te besef met wie jy dit deel yeah. en wat jy deel en ook om te sien en te vier waarmee die studente en die huidige personeel bezig is, dit maak my so ongelooflik trots. En jy krijg 'n gevoel van dat jy deel is van 'n netwerk wat reg oor die wêreld aktief besig is om goeie werk te doen. mean to you to be a Marty? Oh, tough question. <laughs> I'm always very proud to be in the world and tell people that I studied at Stellenbosch University. Being able to step out into the world and say that I came from one of the best universities in the country. Being a Marty to me means that you were brave enough to go full force for something that you were super passionate about. Yeah. There's the idea of wanting to contribute, of being involved, of investing, be it emotionally, be it financially, be it your own time, but just investing into the future. The university is an institution for the ages. And it's really important that we have the alumna uh, with us on the journey forward. And given that we're 32,000 students in any given year, we're obviously incredibly diverse. 
and everyone has a, a completely different experience. What we do see is there is a real desire amongst our alumni for the, the country to succeed, for the university to succeed, and everyone uh, really embraces that idea of being part of it.